Let's go on to example number three here, which gets even more complicated because in this one, we're going to ask for user input. So let me minimize this code and let's see what the program does. First of all, this is example three. We open this program and the browser asks us for the first integer. So let's just enter number two. Now the message box pops open and asks us for a second integer. Okay, I'll enter four and click OK or hit enter. It returns the message that four is larger than two. Okay, so it made a logical decision and it compared them and then returned one statement. Let's do some more experimenting to see what happens here. If I run it again, that time I entered two and four. This time let me enter nine and three. Uh, it says nine is larger than three. Okay. Let's try that one more time. How about a larger number like 55 and 24? 24 is larger than, 55 is larger than 24. Let's do that in reverse. 24 first this time, 55. It still does it correctly. 55 is larger than 24. Now let's try something else. What happens if I enter the same number twice? Let's say I enter 2 and then 2. Uh, this time it says 2 is equal to 2. All right, so we've got three things that are happening here. It takes the first number and says that's larger, or it takes the second number and says that one's larger, depending on the user input. And if they're same, the same, it says, you know, A is equal to B or X is equal to Y. So let's take a look at the code now to see how this is happening. All right, in this example, the first thing we see is... The variables declared, we say variable first, variable second, variable number one, and number two. Then we have our user prompt statements. And then that integer that gets entered as a text string, you know, technically, gets parsed and converted into an integer right here. So we say the number, first number, number one, or, or first as we've declared it, gets converted into an integer. Same thing happens here with the second number. All right, then as we go down here, we can see that three if statements are used this time. So we're talking about multiple if statements. We say if number one is greater than number two, then write that number one is larger than number two. Second possibility, if number one is less than number two, then write that number two is greater than number one, is larger than number one. And then the third logical possibility, if number one equals two, now you get the double equal statement, so is equal to, if number one is exactly equal to number two, then write that number one is equal to number two. All right, so those are the three possibilities. Let's go back to our browser and see this program in action again. All right, so first time I'm gonna enter a number with the first number being the smaller number. I say two and then four. It says four is larger than two. Let's run it again. Do that in reverse. I'm gonna enter the larger number second. Four and then two. It still makes the correct logical decision. It says four is larger than two. And then the final one, I will say five and five. It recognizes that the numbers are equal and it says five is equal to five. So there we see a three if statement. All right, let's go.